Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about how to make a calculator for short and long straddle in Excel sheet and uh, for this we have to define a call and a put option so let's say we have a call option and the strike price for call option is equal to 500 and the premium for the call, this call option is uh, $100 and uh, same way we have a put option and uh, for put option the strike price is equal to uh, 500 I call it P K P and uh, premium for this one is also 100 um, now let's say that uh, we have uh, a stock price and the stock price is changing from 0 to um, increment of 10 so I'll just uh, change it and now you can see that um, we have different uh, scenarios where the stock price is different and now we have to calculate first uh, what happens from the for the call option so now let's say that uh, uh, we have to calculate the payout and uh, so profit from buying call option so profit from buying call option will be equal to uh, it will depend upon the strike price and the stock price so I have to put a scenario that if stock price is greater than the strike price then the profit will be equal to stock price minus the strike price minus the premium which we paid for buying that call option and if the stock price is less than the strike price in that case uh, our loss will be equal to the premium uh, which we paid so I have to say minus 1 into the premium which we paid and uh, I'll just put a dollar sign on these so that uh, when I drag the formula then the reference will not change so now you can see that I'm losing hundred dollars from the call option when the stock price is zero and eventually I'll start to make profit uh, when the stock price goes up and uh, I you can see that I have a break-even point at 600 um, because uh, my strike price was 500 and I paid a premium of $100 now this is the profit from buying the call option now let's calculate the profit from selling the call option or from buying the put option so from buying the put option uh, uh, in this case the profit will again depend on the strike price and the premium so I'll say if stock price is greater greater than the strike price so my loss will be equal to because here I'm buying a put option I will have a loss if the stock price is greater than the strike price and that loss will be equal to the premium I paid for that option so that will be equal to minus one and uh, if it goes below then my profit will be equal to strike price minus the stock price so that will be my profit but I paid for the premium so I will again have to subtract the premium price from there so now you can see that my profit is 400 which is the strike price itself minus the premium I paid for buying that put option and then I have to so do is I have to drag it down um, I made a mistake I did not uh, fixed the references to the premium and the strike price so I'm doing it now and now you can see if I drag it down it looks like this and now again my break-even point is at 400 here and uh, that is because the strike price was 500 and I'm getting hundred dollars as a premium so I make no money at 400 and I start to make money when it goes below 400 and my maximum loss is 100 in this case when the stock price is very high so this is how it will look like now uh, all I have to do is I need to do a total so when I do the total I can add these two together and this is how my total will look like so this is the strategy or the profit 
if I buy both call option and the put option so now I can do the plots and see how does it look like so uh, sorry I have to delete this first I'll just select this two and I'll say insert chart and delete this and I'll call this as a uh, um, call option and uh, I'll also add the axis title so the primary horizontal axis is stock price and uh, primary vertical axis is the profit and uh, and delete these grid lines and make it shorter so this is how my payout from the call option will look like and now um, I'll copy this and I'll paste it again and I will just change the reference from here to here and this is how my put option will look like and eventually I'll put this here and, uh, and this is what will be the long straddle will look like and all I have to do is click on this and do the total now this is how it looks like uh, to make it more uh, uh, to play around with it I, I can just change this to uh, because we are going into very higher stock price range uh, let's change this to 2000 and uh, this also to 2000 and now you can see it um, this is how the long straddle strategy will look like basically you are making money even if the stock goes down or stock goes up however if the stock remains uh, at the strike price then eventually you lose the money and that money loss will be equal to the premium you paid for the call and the put option so now if we if we if we drag if we look here um, in the in the plots you can see that uh, uh, we have uh, A maximum loss of 200 uh, at the strike price of 2000 so at the strike price of 2000 we are losing the money which is equal to the total premium we paid for both the call and the put option so this is how the long straddle will look like now to make the short straddle all we have to do is um, I'll take this and I'll multiply this with minus one so minus one and uh, then I'll click on this and the same way I'll do this I'll say minus one and uh, so now I am short straddle so this is because in this case I sold both the call and the put option so when I assume that the stock is not going to go uh, very low or very high it will remain s very much same at this price then I can sell both call and put option and I'm making a profit of $200 but if it goes up and down I'm, I'm up for the losses so here you can see that uh, eventually at the strike price of 2000 we are making a money of 200 but this goes down uh, if the stock goes either up or down so I hope uh, this helps and uh, you can also change the strike price suppose if you make it 1800 and this also you make uh, no I'll make put option as 1800 and then I'll make call option as 2200 and uh, then you have more of a spread uh, and uh, 
and you have a uh, uh, more uh, range uh, in which you will make profit as compared to if you have the strike price to be seen so you, you can also spread it down uh, more like uh, 2500 and make this as 1000 but the premiums will go down as you go away from the current stock price so i have to say let's say 20 and uh, this one is also 20 now you can see although my loss is uh, my total profit is lower but i have more range in which i can make money so so i hope uh, this uh, sheet helps and uh, if you like uh, you can also put a formula here um, you can say um, buy buy or sell and uh, we can put it as uh, one and here also we can say buy or sell and put it as one right now what we can do is instead of adding or changing the formula every time we can just instead of minus one we can just put the reference to the cell like this and here also i'm putting a reference to the cell like this now what you have is you can always change the strategy here itself if you are selling it you can put minus one if you're buying it you put one and uh, then you can have different uh, scenarios um, and you can look around uh, so you have different plots um, if you're looking to look at the call option you can see how does it look like if i short a call option this is how the chart will look like and uh, what if the premium is 300 then this is how your chart will look like but what about if I have a uh, short a put option then you can also look at this and you can change the premium and see how does it look like and uh, eventually if you add them together this is how it look like so you can have lot of uh, different strategies uh, between buying and selling the call option at different strike prices um, so I hope this video helped if you like to uh, I hope this video can be used to make the sheet yourself however if you don't want to make this sheet yourself you want to buy this sheet uh, we are providing a more refined form of this sheet available on uh, uh, for sale and that is um, the link is provided below in the description so I hope